Hey guys, you're here with Sean, AKA the real estate guy. Um, I wanted to take up a little bit of your time right now. And this, this one is very important. I want you guys to be able to understand um, the rate of rent um, increases and what it will look like in the future. Now, um, some people feel as though like I just promote uh, home ownership um, just to promote it. And um, I'm not, what I'm doing is uh, promoting something that I know is important, number one, because if you understood behind the scenes history, then you would understand the importance of it. Once upon a time in America, Afro-Americans were permitted from getting a mortgage and being like everybody else, having the ability to get that American dream buying a home, having ownership, getting an asset, being able to pass that down through generational wealth. Generational wealth is a topic that's exploded over the last few years. And that's because a lot of people did not know anything about it. I knew about this ever since I was a kid. So um, I knew the importance of buying a house. My parents bought a house. And I think I was only a year old at that time. When I was born, I was born into an apartment and my parents felt as though it was a significant uh, and it was important to purchase something to have more space for me. Then my sister came along, we needed space. That was the need. And plus it gives you a stable, it gives a sense of um, ownership and children, they, they react to it totally different. Uh, but rent, right? Rent has its place in America. Some people all say they're going to rent forever. Um, and that's unfortunate, but that's their choice. What I'm trying to make clear is that ownership is available to you and you'll avoid something that I'm about to show you right now. So what I want to do is I want to show you, if you're a renter, I want to show you the amount of money that you're spending, number one. I'll have you write down what your rent is. So get out that piece of paper um, and a pen. And I want you to write what your current rent is currently. If you if this is your first place or if it's second, third, but look back at what you paid before also. Calculate that. All right. Do the same exact thing. All right. Now, what I'm going to do on my end here on this screen is I'm going to show you uh the expected future rent at a rate of 5%. Why am I using 5%? The illustrious uh, President Biden is trying to cap uh, rent increases by 5%. It sounds good to the public, right? But the landlords wasn't increasing the rent always yearly. Um, some and many went from like 1400 to 2000 because everybody else suggested and that's based on inflation so let's go through some numbers all right average rent right now let's 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 put it in here average rent we'll say 200 i mean 2000 average rent increase all right what is it doing five percent number of years we're going to do 30 reason why i'm doing 30 is because of a mortgage, 30-year mortgage. All right. Now, hope I hope you're sitting down. I hope you're in good health because just look at this rate. Just look at this rate of increase. Now, for me, I've always been a math guy, which people, well, a lot of people might not know. I'm also an IT guy, information technology. All right, so let's look at this. I got too much stuff open right now. $2,000 a month, rate increase, 5% per year, 30 years. Expected future annual rent. Now, you thought things was bad right now. You thought that people said that they ain't have no money. All right, I'm going to say this. You see this number, you might want to find some money to purchase a home right now and get that mortgage locked in for 
18, 2200, 2500. That's light work considering this. Now, the beautiful thing about a house is you have rooms. So if 25 is high and you're renting out a room for, let's say, $600 a month, that's a that's a value right now. Consider rent is $2,000. Let's say you want to rent it out for 800. So take the 25 minus the 800 and, you know, you're down at 1700. Is that more affordable for you? So what, what I like to do and what I like to share is how my mind thinks when it relates to money. How my mind thinks is let's look at ways that we can get it, we can buy versus why we can't buy. Like let's reverse engineer it as we say in the computers. So my mind is geared and wired to reverse engineer I don't know what you're going to do with this 8,643, right? In an apartment, oh, the rooms ain't that big, number one. Number two, it's not a lot of space. So I could get away with renting out rooms at $800, right? And I got two additional rooms. So that 25, I mean, let's, let's look at everything. Let's look at all angles, right? So... You got 25, right? Not 25,000. 25, take away 800. Take away the 800. Just so you, well, I should have put it on the screen. Just so you can see it. But now you're down to 900 for your mortgage. Uh, I mean, I think that would be a, a smart way to go about it. But let's play around with these numbers. Let's play. Let's play play, as they say. No, I apologize. I got too much open. Okay. Let's do 1900. Just to, just to like lower it just a little bit, right? And for many, for some of us, we, I mean, 30 years, uh, I mean, it's going to be, that's going to be crazy, right? 30 years, because at that point we're up there, you know, 70, 60 something and $8,000. I mean, you have to pull in a lot of money just to be able to cover that. And that's why I talk about home ownership, because living without a mortgage is, is great. All right, so look at that, 8,211, right? That's crazy. That's very crazy, right? So let's look at it, let's look at it from this perspective. Let's look at 10 years. Let's reel it in a little bit. So in 10 years, that's that 1900 is gonna be three thousand dollars, right? Let's look at the two thousand. It's going to be a little bit off of that, 2000 I mean, some people don't make that in a month. So just look at how it increases, right? Look at how it increases. So um, I'll let you make your decision. Which one is better for you? Which one do you think that if you could, you could uh, spend money and you're not getting any of those increases, that then you could put away money and invest money and do stuff like that, right? To get yourself um, above water, as they say. Um, yeah, I think, I think, uh, <laughs> I think the other, the latter is the better choice, but that's up to each and every person. If you think that rent and you're going to be able to absorb that, then, I mean, that's your choice. Um, it, it was just not a choice for me to continue um, down that that roadway because I didn't like my money just going to somebody else and it, it improves their life and my life is 
going the opposite direction. So I chose to purchase and it was the best decision that I could ever have made. The equity position is beautiful. The property is worth a lot more money. And I mean a lot. When you put your money into something and you're paying on it and it doubles in value and, and it keeps going up, that's a great thing. All right, so I'm not gonna hold you guys, but if you have any questions, like this video, share this video, right? With your enemy, with your enemies, because they can benefit and save money, right? Now, if you now just look at this, right? If you if you are able to get a lower mortgage than two thousand, and look, I'm gonna show you this because some people rent, some people rent currently is this. I know where I have properties at, I could charge even more than three thousand, right? So just look at that. Look at the increase just in 10 years. Now look at this in 30 years, All right? So like and share and, and comment. Tell me what you think about this. This is I, I love calculators. I love being able to go in, analyze, and do stuff like that. That's, that's what I love to do. Um, I've always been like that. Even as a kid, I had two things growing up. I had... The fact that, well, I didn't hide the reading part. Of it. I read like crazy. But math was one of those things. Mm -hmm. I remember I, I had a little challenge when I got to uh, high school with uh, calculus or trig. And I called up my cousin who was considered a technical genius. And he taught me how to look at it from a different lens. So what I've learned in life is to show you guys how to look at things from different lenses. And... Um, the different lenses should resonate with you. All right, so take care. I'm not going to take 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 up a lot of your time.